I'm meteorologist Gary Lezak with Weather 2020. The tropics are about to wake up and become a little more active as we approach peak hurricane season. The forecast you're looking on the right here was made 180 days ago in early March. All right, let's take a look at our presentation today on this August 30th update. The sixth named storm of the season is likely soon. The National Hurricane Center has put a 40% probability of something developing in this zone as it enters the Caribbean Sea. That's where the biggest hurricane of the season so far, Barrel, was a few weeks ago, almost two months ago. And there are a couple of other areas being monitored as well. So activity is finally starting to increase across the Atlantic Basin. Here is one of the forecasts between now and September 16th, we're expecting multiple systems, one that could enter the Gulf of Mexico and one that will form closer to Africa and move west and take one of these possible tracks. Maybe more importantly is this forecast also for the same part of the pattern due September 9th, issued 180 days ago. And the target is the Northeast Gulf of Mexico. This is the forecast again issued in early March using the only way you can make a prediction like this, the LRC. The latest data that has just come in today, look closely and you can see there is the European model at day 10 showing a potentially strong hurricane developing due south of New Orleans and the target is this area between New Orleans and Tampa. That's the European model. Here is the American model at the same time. So again, European model, American model, both valid September 9th. We haven't had an agreement between these two models in a very long time. So confidence is not just high because the models, the models are all over the place. But because of our prediction, remember there it is, and our prediction it's going right into the spot we predicted six months ago. So it gives us high confidence. It fits the LRC. We predicted 14 to 19 named storms this season, the lowest prediction of anybody being tracked by the Barcelona Supercomputing Center site. There have been five so far. As of September 1st, the average is 6.5. So below average by almost two named storms at this moment. 7 to 10 named hurricanes, that's about average. We've had three. Four to five major hurricanes, only one. Unfortunately, this one could be a major, hopefully not. We've had one, which is about average. And we predicted the accumulated cyclone energy to be 150. We're at 55.1 right now. And by September 1st, that average is now up to 38.7. So it's been catching up. Barrel was so strong, that's why that number is so high. The next name storm will be Francine, followed by Gordon, then Helene, and then Isaac. But there have only been five named storms so far and three hurricanes, Beryl, Debbie, and Ernesto. This is one of the predictions. We're three for three and predicting the hurricanes this year. This is Debbie, the second one. That's where we predicted Debbie to be in track. And this is where Debbie tracked. This is Ernesto, this is where we predicted Ernesto to be, and this is where Ernesto was. Not a bad prediction. That's a 25-day forecast. The other one was five months, and then Barrel is another one, so it's three for three. How is it possible to make these predictions? There is only one way known in science today, and we are mastering that in the last few years. This is the Seattle LRC index measuring the river there above us at about 18,000 feet at 500 millibars. This is cycle one into cycle two in the white, cycle four into cycle five in the red. Notice how the pattern is cycling right on schedule this year in about six to seven weeks. That's Seattle. There's Green Bay, Wisconsin. There's Boston, Massachusetts, Atlanta, Georgia, Kansas City, Missouri, Paris, France, and San Francisco. 
California. So the weather pattern is cycling regularly. And that's what we're showcasing to you here. So right now, once again, there is, let's go full screen again. There is the European model forecast, the GFS forecast, and then the European model and our prediction from six months ago. So bottom line, what this means for you is the weather pattern is cycling regularly. The LRC is the first thing the National Hurricane Center should consider and other scientists, but we've been trying to share it for the last 30 plus years. So bottom line is the weather pattern is right on schedule and we're concerned for the Northeast Gulf of Mexico especially. But anywhere along the Gulf Coast, let's pay close attention to this, and along the Florida coast on the east side to the Carolinas, let's see if something else starts forming within about 10 days as well. Because we are expecting a second a storm system to, to be impacting. So, But one of them for sure appears to be heading towards the Gulf of Mexico. And it is right on schedule per the LRC. We'll update you next week. Be sure to stay tuned to your local authorities. I'm meteorologist with Gary Lezak with Weather 2020. You can become a premium member of our Weather 2020 Weather Intelligence Report. So go to weather2020.substack.com and join there for less than a dollar a day. And the new weather pattern for next season is going to start setting up in six weeks. So we'll share all that with you for premium customers. Again, that's less than a dollar a day. I'm meteorologist Gary Lezak with Weather 2020. We'll keep track of this for you.